Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my new video showing you how I've organized our chest freezer. I have done a video like this before. We had a different freezer and I'll explain that situation in a minute. But as you can see, I'm currently in the workshop, which is one of our sheds and this is our new freezer. It is smaller than the freezer we had. So we used to have a huge, huge freezer in our garage and the garage is right next to the guest house and not only was it a disturbance to our guests when we used to go in and out the garage and rummage in the freezer, possibly when they were sleeping, but also the freezer was very energy inefficient and it was very noisy as well. It would kind of switch on and off with the thermostat and it used to be so noisy that some of our guests complained that it disturbed their sleep. So we decided to get rid of that one get a brand new energy efficient freezer and put it somewhere else other than in the garage. So it's in the workshop as you can see here behind me. I can't remember the capacity of this freezer but if I can find that out I will put it on the screen. I wanted a new organization system for this freezer because in the other freezer I had six bins that sat on top of each other and only four of them fit into here and it just seemed very inconvenient that half of the stuff was underneath and half was on top and I don't know it just I was over like lifting those bins out so I came up with a different solution and I hope you'll enjoy it okay let's get into it lifting the lid you can see that there are two suspended baskets which can slide from side to side in the left hand basket I have ice and any overflow like extra sweet potato chips or french fries I have some free flow sausage rolls so they just go in there. Most of our goodies that I use kind of on a daily basis or more often like chips and sweet potato chips and frozen vegetables and smoothie fruit, that all goes into the fridge freezer in the kitchen. So this is just overflow stuff. In this one, I have things like frozen pumpkin puree, butter, some overflow smoothie fruit and any like this is stew that was extra for freezing. I should have labeled that, but I have remembered and tomatoes that I've blended from the garden and those kind of things go into there and then down here you can see a plastic container there's like a little shelf in there this plastic container just has like random extra stuff so I have some bits of venison and my ice cream that I can eat it's uh, dairy free ice cream at the back here this is where the bread goes so two loaves of bread can sit neatly on the shelf there and that's easy for Noah to grab. Moving these aside I'll show you what's going on below. So down there you can see I can fit two bottles of milk. I like to freeze our milk so that we never run out we always have some on hand and then there are the little cooler packs for our chili bin. In the front here there's a gap that I can stash pizzas in. I'll show you a better shot of that in a minute. At the bottom, I have three containers. These are from Kmart. I'll insert a picture here of what they look like. And I will also link to the video where I showed them. It was my online shopping haul. I just bought them from Kmart online and they were delivered. These little dividers can be moved, which is what I really liked about them. And I like that they were narrow and tall and three fit perfectly in there. So in the front there, I've got seafood so I've got some oven fish and some prawns that's chicken at the back in this one I've got lamb chops and lamb sausages I've got some bacon there and then this is beef mince I'm not going to designate set places for things I'll group like with like but I just buy meat on special offer and that's what's going to be in the freezer and that will change from time to time and I'll just plan my meals out of what's in the freezer so I didn't want to have like a dedicated chicken bin a dedicated beef bin etc like I did last time on the left you can see that bin I've taken the dividers out and those are roasts so I've got corned beef I have some lamb roasts because we bought an entire lamb and that's what's left of it there you can see the perfect amount of space left at the front of the bins for me to stash a pair of pizzas. Generally, when we have something that the boys don't want to eat, they will have pizza and Grant and I will eat something else. So I kind of buy them in pairs. And there is also a box of spring rolls down there. So that is how my freezer is looking now. I hope this has been helpful showing you how I've organized our chest freezer. 
I will link the bins from Kmart down below. They may or may not fit into your freezer, so do have a measure and check it out and see if this is going to work for you. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.